सभाध्यक्ष को आसन ग्रहण कर दिन होना का लगी मस्थ्य मंत्रालय का सचिव डाक्टर पुष्पा चौधरी वहाँ लार्दिक अनुरोध कर आसन ग्रहण के क्रम में राष्ट्रीय मानव अधिकार आयोग को माननीय सदस्य मोहन अंसारी जीवला डैस में आई आसन ग्रहण कर दिन को हार्दिक अनुरोध कर Uh, I would like to call upon His Excellency Rashi Bejan Johansson, Norwegian Ambassador to Nepal. Please have a seat. So, I would like to request Dr. Jos Bentali, Country Representative of WHO. आसन ग्रहण के क्रम में अगड़ी बढ़ाते डैस में आए आप आसन ग्रहण कर दिन को लगी म इस आयोजक कमिटी का चेयरपर्सन तथा प्राथमिक स्वास्थ्य सेवा पुनर्जागरण महाशा का स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय का निर्देशक भोगेन्द्र राज डोटलजीला हार्दिक अनुरोध कर इसेगरी इस आयोजक कमिटी का जेनरल सेक्रेटरी डॉक्टर ऋषभ कोईराला जीवला मसन ग्रहण को हार्दिक अनुरोध कर आज का हम इस कन्फ्रेन्स का विशेषज्ञ डॉक्टर अरुण कुंवर और डॉक्टर शिशिर सुब्बा वहाँ दुवेजना यहाँ डैस में आए आसन ग्रहण को लगी मार्दिक अनुरोध कर आज को इस कार्यक्रम में पाल्न हुने स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय का महाशाखा प्रमुख जीवर निर्देशक जीवर पर मैं यहाँ देखी रख तेगरी विशेषज्ञ मैं यहाँ देखी रखु विद्यार्थी होनजीओज आईएनजीओज बा पाल्न भैया प्रतिनिधि यहाँ उपस्थित हो हमी राष्ट्रीय गान बजाने तैयारी में छेक्निकली वहाँ हि रख
But when in the capital or educated people, people within a uh, husband and wife problem, they never go to the doctor because they have some pride in the society, they have a pride in the nation, they belong to the, some highly polite class. They don't want to share their problem. I think the mental health issues should begin from the home to the society. It's not one issue. And the same with the children also. When the children face something, they think, oh, if I share at the home, maybe my parents face some stigma. Why they so it's not a small. If you go to the care and support, I think that this issue can be addressed by the uh, uh, multi-dimensional multi approach. So Human Rights Commission thinks uh, this is the um, uh, very few uh, deep-rooted stereotype concept uh, in the society towards the uh, person with the mental health. And also, uh, if we see uh, our high-level uh, uh, authorities, high-level authorities, policy maker, they always use a language. You can see the language, how they use it. Uh, the sensitivity, they don't have, I, I don't think, I have, I always hear, um, father. What, what is mean by father? If you see the, our legal documents, you can find the lots of word on this type of. So uh, we, we need to create a, a wider awareness as well. Of course, the mental health is the, one of the uh, fundamental uh, rights. I mean, other just the one only is that poverty is for all reasons one word to other reasons. But I mean, the age we talk about earlier, it was just for two years that he ate. So, it's very challenging group. We are talking about Regularly, there are 2018 for Nepal uh, status review, the This was your traditional practices, the border, the suicide rate on the border. Uh, there is a new suicide rate portal. So, suicide rate, Kino portal. Kino Hamilly, the Puralai, uh, here is a Sakira Hatsaro, Zapa Zanu, I have any monthly Arthur Kit case report on the suicide. Arthur, the police office, the normal police officer, which is ensured in the Constitution also. <laughs> All the dignitaries, professionals, experts, my seniors, and all the workers, health workers engaged in mental health services. I'm thankful that uh, I'm being invited to speak something about mental health in Nepal, especially focusing on psychosocial services. Uh, one thing that we should be aware about mental health is that mental health mapping of Nepal is not done. As a result, we don't know exactly how many percent of Nepalese people are suffering from mental health problems. 
Some of the studies conducted by academicians, researchers, expert tribes has indicated that mental health problem in Nepal ranges from 20% to more than 60%. It has become a must for us to have the information about mental health status of Nepal. And we are very hopeful that with such kind of international conferences and activities that has been going on, very soon we will have this kind of status. Not only status, there is some kinds of these days synchronizations of work between biomedical perspective and non-biomedical perspective has been going on. And the result is very hopeful. Looking at mental health status of Nepal, we can say that before 1950, there were traditional healers who have been providing mental health services uh, to the people. From the 1950, when modern healthcare was introduced, psychiatric, psychiatric treatment started from 1961. In 1984, the hospital, mental hospital was established and subsequently in the 90s there were lots of crises and conflicts and that indicated that simply medicine is not appropriate and adequate for providing services to people suffering from not only severe type of mental health problems but also different types, mild, moderate, or socially, psychosocial problems. The decade of 90 was promising. And later on, in 19, 2015, when we had this earthquake, the complete realizations are very that biomedical treatment along with Psychosocial, psychosocial. Yeah, so, 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 Counseling is not counseling service available. You can treatment only. And that is why I have a treatment for the services, psychosocial activities, psychosocial supports, counselings are very important. Let me talk about why psychosocial is very important. Because this conference tries to integrate different types of medical culture or a helping culture into a single whole. I hope that psychiatric treatment, biomedical treatment, as well as non-biomedical treatment, counseling, psychotherapy, and other different types of treatment will immensely help when united into one in the well-being of the Nepalese people. Before 1950, there were traditional healers, and traditional healers, they never accused the person who was suffering from the mental health problems. Rather, it was explained that it is the retributions or afflictions from the ancestral our, our new constitution guaranteeing this, this um, another important thing I think you all are aware, uh, 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 let me start a few things in the Nepali also. Uh, 
यो जति पनि रूढीवादी संस्कार परम्पराहरु छ त्यसले गर्दा पनि कुन किसिमको मेन्टल इलनेस चाहिँ यसले यसले व्यापकता लिइराखेको छ हामी कसैले सोच्न चाहिरहेका छैनौँ सोच्न सकिपनि राखेका छैनौँ आज हामी पनि